I almost can't believe what's about to happen. If art's your thing, this is about as close as you can get to the finish line. You're one of the few who's being selected the best water feature artist of the year. You guys excited to be here? So I don't know what this is gonna be like. This is the Aquascape Artist of the Year Consortium. So we have eight regional finalists coming in from around the world. This year is gonna be a little different. We wanna elevate not only the person, but the entire industry. So we have all of every single past Aquascape Artist winner and all of the eight regional winners in here for three days in Chicago. I'm super excited about the unknown of all of this. And by some holiday miracle, everybody is actually showing up in Chicago. Let's just have some fun. Like, I'm genuinely excited. This is going to be like so much fun. It'll be interesting. Everybody's going to be doing presentations on what they love about this art. Then we vote. We vote. And we are going to actually vote and find one guy to join the club and represent the Aquascape Artist of the Year. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's all happening. It's going to be incredible. How cool is that? We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. And we've got a special episode, super special. This episode, we're here to specifically talk about art. And actually, more specifically, the art of building ponds. And I can't help but reflect on my journey as a personal pond artist. And that journey has taken me over 29 years working here at Aquascape. And I think of those ponds that we built way, way back when, and how proud we were, how proud I was of the things that we were created, and how much our art has evolved. You know, they say to become a true master of something, you have to do 10,000 hours of whatever that craft is. Well, I think I've hit that 10,000 hours over 29 years. I also think of where our CACs have evolved from. Um, these guys have been around for decades. Their art is getting better and better and better and they're influencing new artists out there and really changing the curve of becoming an artist of the year because there's so many more mentors out there that they can learn from. And so this episode is gonna be all about choosing the next artist of the year. Every year Aquascape gives away a coveted award. We've been doing this for the last 10 plus years. Somebody that inspires the rest of the nation, the rest of the country, the rest of the world in building water features. A guy that has put in the time to become an artist of the year. A person that inspires me and past artists of the year. This year, what we decided to do is have regional winners. So CACs across the country chose the person in their region who best represented what the artist of the year should be to them. So we've got down to eight regional winners, and now we gotta figure out how we're gonna pick out of those eight regional winners who's the next artist of the year. I don't know how exactly we're gonna do it because nobody's really come up with a plan to do this yet, but I know Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, has got some kind of master plan. He's called me into his office to talk about that and what he wants to do. I have no idea what's going on in between his two ears, but I know he's got something, so let's go, come on. Hey, hey he's here. What up? Do you wanna tell him or should I? I should tell him, right? You should tell him. That's my idea. Oops. So it's really your baby because you are kind of the representative for the Aquascape Artist of the Year, mm -hmm. okay? But what I would like to do to help you would be to actually invite all of the regional winners to Chicago in the winter, okay, to actually have them prepare presentations to all of the current Aquascape Artists and at the end of it, then we vote. We vote. I just started this business out of my love for turtles and to see how it evolved is pretty amazing and to see where Ed and Brian had evolved to. And every time that I think you can't, we can't get any better with our water features, it just somehow does. And the same thing with our customers, to see where our customers have gone to and how they're pushing the envelope now and how they're inspiring us. And when I say customers, what I should really just say is fellow artists and friends. 11 companies coming, eight regions presenting however many we can get here. And then the goal would be not just for them to share with the current Aquascape Artists of the Year, but the goal would be for them, maybe even the Aquascape Artists of the Year, to share with them because this is the next generation that we're bringing up to inspire more people. 
So we have eight regional finalists coming in from around the world. I know this is gonna be pushing people to a completely different place, but that's what we're really about. We wanna elevate not only the person, but the entire industry. And a rising tribe lifts all yeah. ships, so I think it'll be good for the current Aquascape Artists of the Year to get to know the guys who were picked by their regional winners, because all these guys were selected by the regional certified sponsor. 100% is my favorite thing. The way we've always chose the past Artists of the Year was me literally picking up my phone, calling past artists of the year and saying, hey, give me your top three. This year is gonna be a little different in the fact that these guys aren't just putting together presentations to talk about their work, but also themselves. I just have some fun, you know, play some games, no, no, have some fun. No, be good. Yeah. Okay, so you're in agreement, we're gonna go ahead and get this out there, that we're gonna have an Aquascape Artists Consortium. If art's your thing, this is about as close as you can get to the finish line. You're one of the few who's being selected the best water feature artist of the year. And it feels like just yesterday, Greg called me for this important meeting in his office talking about this consortium idea he wanted to do and bring all these past winners out here and, and the new regional winners and choose the new artist of the year. And I have to tell you, like there's butterflies in my stomach. Um, I'm gonna get to see some of my, my old friends, hopefully make some new ones. I don't know all these regional winners, so I'm really excited to meet some of these new guys and get some connections with them. I, I'm genuinely excited. This is gonna be like so much fun. And by some holiday miracle, everybody is actually showing up in Chicago. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's all happening. It's gonna be incredible. Finally here, I have been thinking about this for six months, and this is the Aquascape Artist of the Year Consortium. So we have all of every single past Aquascape Artist winner and all of the eight regional winners in here for three days in Chicago. Everybody's going to be exchanging notes. Everybody's going to be doing presentations on what they love about this art. So this is the kickoff event for this. It's going to be an exciting couple of days together. All of these guys are going to put on their best show, putting on their presentations together, and we are going to actually vote and find one guy to join the club and represent the Aquascape Artist of the Year. This is awesome. I think that this new format, a way to get everybody together in one place where we can all you know talk and hang out and talk about the artistry that everybody is putting out there. I think it's a it's really cool concept. So I'm pretty excited about this event, uh, the way it has been restructured. I think it uh, is kind of leveling out the playing field. It's a small industry and, and to be nominated by our peers to represent our region, I think is just an amazing thing. It's really pretty cool. I, I love the new format because now we don't have to try and scour the entire globe to find somebody that is worthy of this. Because that means we're trying to search through like Facebook pictures and all this kind of stuff to figure out like what, what kind of work they're doing and then try to figure out who knows them and see what they're all about. It's cool because we actually get to hear from the contestants why they think they should be Artist of the Year, what motivates them, what their passion is, what their style is, rather than just generically looking at somebody's social media page. So I think it's a lot more personal this way. I think it's really cool. It's, it's more of a competition versus us choosing somebody that we think does good work. It's funny, I don't see it as competition in a way. It's sort of framing it like a competition. I, I, I look at it as an opportunity to share some ideas that I have with other guys that I look up to. And the thing that excites me about this this process even more than, than the award is the uh, potential for education because now instead of just you know giving somebody an award, now it's more about okay, how are we gonna use this between collectively between everybody here to help educate the, the masses. I'm excited to see the amount of talent all in one room and just to kind of bounce ideas off of everybody else and learn from what they did right, but more so what they did wrong. There's nobody here that doesn't deserve to be here. You can't land in this spot by accident. It's technically impossible. It's um, daunting with all the guys I'll be presenting in front of, but you know, it's just nice to, to be recognized and to be here amongst these guys. Uh, day one here, uh, I'm in a room with legends, artists of the year that I've learned so much from over the years. These are the guys that I watch YouTube videos. I've emulated their styles. These are the guys I've looked up to for forever. So this is quite an honor to be here. Being here is both 
exciting and a little bit nerve wracking because all my favorite builders in the world are here. And to be able to be in the same room, collaborating with them, sharing secrets and just, it can be intimidating on one hand, but it can be really energizing on the other. It's really important for me to be able to sort of learn from these guys here at Aquascape and actually take that inspiration back to the UK and start to turn heads in the UK and show them that actually the way that the UK is building water features, actually there is a better way. This is just a phenomenal opportunity. It's not so much to me about the competition, it's more about the experience and learning and growing as a company, as a builder, as an artist. Winning Artist of the Year is not like the end, it's not the ceiling. That's To me, that's sort of like the beginning, like you win it. So every year I feel like you have to prove not just to yourself, but to your peers and, and to your customers mainly that you're worth that. The amount of talent in our in this tribe and in the industry has really, I think, exponentially grown over the last you know several years. It's, it's really kind of taken off, and it's a tough thing to win this award nowadays. There's 20 or 30 folks here that are all you know equally deserving in their own right. So it's going to be a tough decision for us on Tuesday. I almost can't believe what's about to happen. I had a hope, a dream, that everybody would come to a first ever artist consortium meeting, a gathering of us to discuss about our art. Woo! You guys excited to be here? Yes. This is the first time something like this has ever occurred, not just in the 33 years of Aquascape's history, but in the history of the world. There has never been a gathering of artists coming together for the explicit goal of just talking about the art. How cool is that? The fact that we've got not only every guy in the US, some driven two hours away, most flying in, but the fact that we got guys from Canada, the fact that the guys got from England, the fact that all the artists, both of the artists from down under are coming all the way 20 hours just to get here, I'm, I'm super impressed, I'm honored, and I am like a kid in a candy store, just can't wait to see what these guys present.